Because of the frequency that you will most likely be working with files, it's important to understand the concepts of file ownership and file permissions. So we're going to take a few minutes and go over each one of these. First we'll talk about file ownership, the basic concept of it, and then we'll talk about how to make changes to the file ownership using the chown command. Next we'll talk about file permissions and finally how to make changes to those file permissions with the chmod command. Now the basic concept here is that when a user creates a file or a folder there has to be some way to trace that creation back to an account and that is called the owner. So when user A creates a folder and a file within that folder, the folder and the file within will be mapped back to user A using an ownership. Now the nice thing about ownership is if you create that file or folder, you're guaranteed to have permissions to it. So that's also another piece of the ownership puzzle that allows you to give yourself permission. It also allows you as the owner to make permission and ownership changes to it. So owner and creator are often used interchangeably when it comes to this reference. Now, if, for example, the primary group of the owner, or assuming that that exists, it will also be set as the group owner of the file, which will also provide additional changes and modification permissions. Now, anytime you want to make a change to the file owner, you simply use the chown or the chown command. Chown command is actually referred to as chown, but you'll commonly hear it referred to as chown as well. The usage of this is actually pretty simple. So, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the help options available. We'll pipe that into less real quick so we can see what we're doing. And... Here's an example. So we type in our chown, we put our options, the new owner, and the associated file name. So we can make changes. We can also remove, and this is generally going to affect symbolic links, or can bypass that and actually go back to the file that the symbolic link was created off of. So there are actually a lot of options available to you here when using the chown command.